This one asks about a buffer that is prepared using 0.75 moles of, this is benzoic acid, but we don't need to know that, that's just its formula, and 0.95 moles of benzoate ion. And again, we don't need to know that, but we can see that they're only different by a single H+, plus, which means this is a conjugate pair, which means this is a buffer. It says it's in uh, one liter of aqueous solution, and then it says, is the buffering capacity of the solution great enough to maintain its pH if 50 grams of potassium hydroxide is added? And up top here, we've got a hint. It says, definition of buffer capacity. If a buffer can react uh, with any strong acid or strong base present and still have some weak acid and some conjugate weak base left, the buffer is within its buffer capacity. If that doesn't happen, the buffer is exhausted and the pH will change a lot. So that's the hint. Oop. Uh, let's undo that. I'll try and drag that picture up, but. Um, oh, maybe over here. Nope. Well, we'll have to put it right there for now. Oh, there it goes. Good. So, um, what you have to do to solve this problem is you have to find out how many grams of potassium hydroxide, or how many moles of potassium hydroxide there are. And that's going to provide you with your moles of hydroxide, since one mole of potassium hydroxide has one mole of hydroxide ion in it, you can find that out. And then, however many moles that is, you're going to compare it to your moles of weak acid in this case to see which is greater. If your moles of uh, weak acid are greater, then you do have a good buffer. Um, and the answer will be yes. Yeah. And if you have more moles of hydroxide, then uh, let's see, you'll choose one of the no options that says uh, the concentration of benzoic acid is not high enough to neutralize the hydroxide. And it says concentration, and you can actually get molarities because you know the liters, but you can also just compare moles to tell what the molarities will be.